This is video four for chapter seven. We're gonna keep going with constructing triangles. In this video, we're gonna construct triangles when there are three side lengths given. In video three, we looked at if we told you what three angles to use, you drew the triangle. Now we're gonna give you the side lengths and you have to draw the triangle. We are also going to determine, and we talked about this in video three a little bit as well, determine if the result is unique, many, or none. And we'll talk about that more at the end of the video, but I just want you to write down next to unique. Unique means only one. Only one correct answer, many different triangles that you could come up with, or none, meaning it's not possible. Okay? So, construct triangles. Three side lengths are given. All the units you see here are in centimeters. So here we go. I'm gonna construct a triangle that has a four centimeter side, a five centimeter side, and a six centimeter side. Again, if you have a protractor, let's use it. If not, you're watching, following along, doing your best to sketch what I'm doing but mostly you're watching and listening. I'm gonna start with a line, and I'm gonna measure my line to be four centimeters. So the centimeters are on the inside here, where my pen is, that would be four centimeters. So I'm gonna put a dot there, and a dot there, and connect those. And then as soon as I have it, I'm gonna label that. That's four centimeters. Now I have to do five centimeters. So I, again, am using erasable pen, or you should be using a pencil, because we're gonna have to do a little guessing and checking here. So now I'm gonna go to that first vertex, and I'm gonna do five centimeters. And I'm just going to kind of sketch it in and estimate. I'm gonna do it lightly, because we might have to move some things around, but I am gonna put a little dot there at the end, so I know that's five. Okay, and then, I should have six centimeters left. So now I'm gonna go over to my last vertex here and line it up on my ruler, right? Put the vertex here at zero. So I know I'm measuring that one. And I get that six goes all the way up to here. Well, those aren't gonna match, right? If I drew that in, look at my ruler line there, all the way to six, one of them ends here and one of them ends here. That's no good. So I'm gonna have to just shift and shuffle a little bit. I'm gonna erase these. Okay, and you're gonna be erasing as well. No big deal. Come back to here and I'm gonna um, try my five again, but this time I'm gonna, I see where it was last time, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit so it comes up a little bit higher, like a little bit steeper of a line. And I'm just gonna gently put a dot there. And then I'm going to come over to the other one again and see if I can get six. Whoops. See if I can get six to work out now. Okay. Closer. Closer. Like here's my six. They're pretty close. Let me just adjust a little bit more. Maybe before you draw your lines in, you just keep kind of shuffling these, sliding them a little bit. So now I'm going to go a little bit further. You're just trying to get the five centimeter side and the six centimeter side to end up at the same place. Pretty darn close, okay? Right there. It's not gonna be perfect, but let me make sure that this is five. So from this for my first vertex there up, yep, that's five. So now I can actually draw it in and label it. And then now connecting these should be six. So this is just, you know, guessing and checking, but in this case we're measuring and drawing and then remeasuring and redrawing. Okay, so there we go, we got it to work. Now, let's look at yours. Or if we all did this on our own with our own protractors, right, on our own papers, would they look the same? Turns out, if you let's say had a stick that was four centimeters and one that was five and one that was six and you just laid them out end to end, yeah, we'd all get that same triangle. Yours might be twisted, you know, like rotated a little bit. Maybe you started with the five, maybe you started with the six, maybe yours is going this way. 
but we all end up with the same triangle. If we cut this one out and put it on top of yours and yours and yours and yours, everybody's would be the same. So because there's only one correct way we can get that to work, we say it's unique. Okay? All right. Three, three, five. Okay. I'm going to start with the five just to get my longer one out of the way. It doesn't really matter. You're just going to pick one of the sides and start. Measure it. Make sure you clearly know where the ends are. Notice it's not quite right in the corner. I have to start at the zero and go to five. And then I'm going to label that one because hopefully that one will just stay put. And then I know I have to have three and three. So before I draw any lines, I'm just going to kind of finagle it with some dots. Let's see, that would be three on this side. I'm going to see how three looks over here. Uh, nope, a little too long. So erase your dots in between if you need to, but you got to kind of see where it was so you know which way to adjust it. There's not going to be an easy, quick, simple way to do this. I'm going to move it down just a little bit and see if that works better over here. Pretty darn close. Yep. So it looks like right there I'm going to end up and I'm going to measure again to make sure. But notice everyone, and I've done this hundreds of times, everyone is just going to have to play around with it a little bit. And this should be three. Perfect. Yep. It's slightly more. Looks like just depends on where you put your dot there. So I should have moved it over just a tiny bit, but oops, three centimeters. Okay, so again, let's talk about this. I had a three centimeter line, a three centimeter line, and a five centimeter line. Imagine if those were sticks and I just laid them on the ground. Everybody's triangles would end up looking the same. Even if it's twisted or turned or flipped, it's the same triangle. So again, there's only one way we can get those to connect and make a triangle. So we say it's a unique answer. Only one answer, everybody's answer should be the same, okay? All right, last one over here. Three, four, and seven. Again, doesn't matter where you start. Looks like I might have, this one's pretty big, so I'm just gonna kind of twist it a little bit, put it sideways so it fits in my paper. There's seven. Okay. Label it. And now I need a three and a four. So. Pick up my ruler and let's put a, doesn't matter, let's do the four. Put the four. You're just, you're just really guessing and checking, but in this case it's drawing them and seeing how they line up. So I can tell I'm going to try to get a four that goes this way, and then let's put a three this way to meet it and see what happens. Okay. Three. Even if I go straight towards that point there, three only gets me to here. So that's not going to work. Looks like I'm going to have to try again. So let me erase this one and bring it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go real pretty flat just like this. There's my four. And then let me try my three again. Come over here. If I go up like that, okay. So if I did this correctly, which it looks fairly close, let's see. Yeah. So if I did this correctly, let's think about this. If this was four and this was three, the four and the three to get them to actually touch would have to be flat against this seven, right? Four plus three is equal to seven. They'd have to go exactly lined up like this to get from here to here. So it turns out, since I can't put four and three together and get them to actually meet up here as a triangle, it turns out this one is not possible. If you measure it correctly, you will end up with the seven and then the four and the three all on top of each other is a line like that. So let's think about why that is. If these two shorter numbers don't add up to more than this one, then they're not going to make a triangle. 
right? I have to have a little bit extra here in these two sides so that they actually meet out here to make a triangle. So if you look at the numbers given to you for a triangle and the two shorter sides are equal to or even smaller than the biggest number, it's not going to work and you're going to get none. Not possible. Okay, so we're going to take a minute now. I'll zoom out. That's what we kind of should have there. I'm going to zoom out and we're going to summarize what we've covered in the both of these triangle videos in video three and four. Okay, so down here to summarize, it says if three angles are given, then what are my options? What happens here? So I'm going to flip back to my video three, which you already watched and filled in. Here's my video three. We gave you three angles, three angles, three angles, three angles. Turns out that if those triangles add up to 180, then it's going to work. It's going to make a triangle. And turns out that there are many different ways we can draw that triangle. We can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. The angles are all going to be the same, but there's many different triangles we could end up with because they could be different sizes. Same thing here. These added up to 180, so it worked. We could have gotten different sizes of triangles, so there were actually many different triangles here. And then this one, it did not add up to 180 degrees, so it wasn't actually possible. Okay, so we're going to summarize that right here. If three angles are given, then you have two options. If the angles add up to or they equal 180 degrees, then there are many different triangle answers that would work. And I'm going to put here, they're just different sizes. They all have the same angles because those are given to you, but they could be many different triangles that are different sizes. Okay. If the angles don't add up to 180 degrees, then it's not possible. It didn't work. It won't make a triangle. Okay. All right. And then this is in today's video. If we give you three side lengths, well, there are two cases again. Let's go back up here and look. As long as the shorter two numbers add up to more than the biggest number, it works. Shorter two sides add up to more than the longest side, it works. So I'm going to write that down. When we give you three side lengths, as long as two shorter sides are greater than the longest side, then we get a unique answer. Okay, as long as the two shorter sides add up to be greater than the longer side, you get one unique answer. Only one triangle that works and all our triangles would be the same. If when we give you three side lengths, two shorter sides are less than the longest side, then we get none. Not possible. Okay? So I know I kind of wrote big and it looks a little messy here. Let's just summarize this and make sure you have it written down correctly. If we give you three angles and they add up to 180, many different triangles are possible that are just different sizes. If we give you three angles that don't add up to 180, it's not going to work. There's no triangle that will work. If we give you three sides, check them. If the two shorter sides are bigger than the longest side, one unique answer. If we give you three sides and the two shorter sides are not longer than the longest side, not possible. Okay? All right.